Well, today we're going to take a quick look at the recently announced Pensacola discovery down in the southern North Sea of the uh, UKCS. So here is the United Kingdom and here is the approximate location of the Pensacola. We'll look at that in a little more detail in a second. And uh, here's the well. It's well 41 5A2. It's drilled with a jack up here. You can see uh, this isn't the location. This is the rig over a platform. Uh, this part wouldn't be here in the, the current setting. The rig is the Maersk Reliant and it is uh, it is a jack up so uh, that's fairly shallow water. Now a lot of the talk and a lot of the press is by the sort of the minor partner uh, Deltic Energy with a 30% interest but should be remembered of course uh, Shell are the operator of the well. It sputtered in uh, November and this was yesterday it was announced as uh, having discovered some gas. Now the testing is going to come over the, the next sort of 30-day uh, period, so it'll probably take us into February before we know the results of that. It's um, approximately 40 kilometres away from the Ineos-operated Brea gas platform, and it stated in some of the assessments that a field the size of about uh, 75 billion cubic feet could actually be commercial, so uh, it would exceed the, the minimum economic field size, the MEFS. So, uh, yeah, that's around about, uh, about 12 and a half million barrels equivalent, but uh, this is gas. If it's any bigger than that, of course, it, it, it should fly. So uh, if we have to go back, some of the uh, the older material, and we've taken this out of our Trove database, you can see here this is uh, Deltic Energy, uh, were, were previously known as, uh, as Clough Natural Resources, and so you'll see reference to that. And here's introducing where it is. Here's a Spurn Head, Flamborough Head, uh, and you can see it's, it's really just offshore Middlesbrough. Here's Middlesbrough. And uh, we're looking in this area here. Now, there was a well on, on Lytham quite some time ago. In fact, uh, I was involved uh, when that well was drilled. But uh, this is almost a, a decade later. So uh, this is another uh, old interpretation, just showing the seismic and, and showing that uh, there were a number of leads and plays and prospects. But Pentacola was chosen and was matured over the years and um, some more material here. Just pause the video and have a look. So what we can see in terms of the, the, the history of this, uh, we can follow this, more information about the reef, about the shell farming back in 2019 and uh, an assessment of the size of it, a range quoted here, pre-drill. Um, now, I like this map here. It's actually from uh, Peter Henry at uh, Westwood Global. And uh, it shows the location of Pensacola here. It kind of shows here in dark blue is the uh, where the Westphalian coals are. So looking at the sort of source rock angle on this, there really isn't any Westphalian coals. They're often cited as being um, the source of uh, a lot of the gas in the southern North Sea Basin. But some distance away. Now there are Denantian source rocks potentially quite close by but uh, you can see that for much of the area around Pensacola the, the Westphalian coals are, are actually uh, absent so this is pointing to the fact that there could be a carboniferous source and in fact that's what Peter favours but yeah we've got an alternative suggestion I'll come back to. There is another, uh, this is the uh, location of Derek, and it's quite unusual, the Ossian Derek, the well 4214Z, located just over here. That's subject of a video that we put out on our YouTube channel back in uh, March 2020. It's interesting that we've had a, an upsurge of views in the last few days when with this Pensacola result coming in, and you know perhaps that may help Ossian Derek and, and may be worth a, a relook in that region. So Peter favours long-distance migration of sourcing from carboniferous coals, and um, it probably helps a lot of the plays in the area. In fact, he notes that there could be interest uh, in appraising the Zex down at the Kroskin gas discovery, which is uh, 4215A, which could see activity in drilling in 2023. Also, the Horizon Energy Partners and Ardent Oil they may drill the exploration well on the Zechstein Dabinet prospect in Block 425B. Now, it's um, of the order of 70 kilometres from the Teesside gas plant, and as I said earlier, of the order of 40 kilometres away from the, the Brea field. So um, 
If successful, there would be a lot of interest in the Zextan, and we cover all of these plays, both uh, prospects and indeed discoveries, in our Trove database. So this is a long way north of the traditional, the sort of the Permian Rotlagens uh, gas fairway. But as we pass into this region, uh, we do have the uh, some of the the Carboniferous fields. But exploration is is moving north onto the uh, the mid North Sea High. So here's a copy of the press release. Uh, pause the video to have a look at that. And again, here's a, another look at the reefal nature, of fringing reef um, with potentially a lagoonal fill. So this interpretation should now have been uh, calibrated with uh, with the well results. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what they've found. Now, this is a, a complicated cross-section from north to south over a part of the Cleveland Basin. It's actually on the onshore region. It's over a well called Clout and Warren, uh, which was drilled probably the best part of 40 years ago now. But what, what you can see is that we've broken this up into a series with these red subdivides here that we have in the lower Carboniferous here. We basically have an entire petroleum system. And so what you can see is we've got the source rocks, the reservoir rocks, and for trap reed seal. So uh, the seals, and uh, these were world-class source rocks in, in their time, but uh, they have actually been buried quite a long time ago in the uh, Hercinian orogeny and then uplifted since then. But, you know, you can actually get uh, an entire petroleum system here within this interval. There's lots, uh, lots of shales in here. It's a relatively low net to grow. So you could actually look at another system, perhaps including the Namurian and, and indeed some of these Westphalian source rocks. And here you can see in this region, there isn't the development of the rot against the Permian sandstone, but uh, here you can see subcropping onto what is a world-class uh, seal, which is, of course, the Zechstein evaporites. Now, we hear about the uh, Z1, this is the Z2 and Z3 carbonates, the dolomite and platinum dolomite. But, you know, even within here, we believe that there is the potential for, uh, for source rock, actually, that be the distal shales and, and marls that uh, could potentially be oil prone. They, they haven't been drilled in, in the sort of areas where we'd find them. But uh, the reason why we might uh, cite these and uh, is that sometimes you have thousands of feet of halite separate separating the underlying source rocks of the Carboniferous from these Zechstein dolomites, the uh, Z2 and Z3. There, there is a Z1 in other areas, and I think it goes up to about Z5. But uh, you can see here that in this region, these are the two uh, major plays and, and major targets with production in the area, particularly in the Cleveland Basin. So we can go up through the uh, Zechstein. Of course, this really being such a... Um, a world-class seal means that we've now got the potential for yet another petroleum system, which, okay, in this case, the, the Bunter could be a reservoir. But interestingly, uh, in some areas, there are actually sort of surface seeps or very, very, very shallow uh, oil found just uh, tens to hundreds of meters below the surface. And this is in some of these Jurassic sediments and potentially sourced from uh, mature Liassic oil. So that's lower Jurassic. And, and indeed, you can actually break open uh, ammonites on some of the beaches of North Yorkshire and uh, actually uh, they could be filled with crude oil. It's worth noting that uh, if you go to an area known as the Cleveland Dome, this is the area in southwest of Quadrant 41, there is hardly a, a Zechstein penetration which date back into the 1960s, there's hardly a well that doesn't have shows or wasn't tested and, and flowed gas. Certainly, uh, look at blocks 4118, 19 and 4124, great examples of, uh, of wells. The 4124-3, it flowed up to 35 million standard cubic feet of gas a day on test. Now, um, we're seeing here potentially several different plays, but the play, the Pensacola, is actually... Not one of these uh, shelfful uh, limestones, but but more of a, a reefal limestone. So uh, that's a slightly different place to the one shown here. I did want to comment on the, the timing of discovery. And, uh, you know, if we look what's happened recently, uh, probably since the commitment to drill, well, we've had the windfall tax or the expiration profit levy. You know, that's raised the UK marginal tax rate now to uh, 75%. 
not sure if Pensacola would uh, qualify for the EPL uh, relief as a new investment. Uh, even if it does, Delta Energy don't have any production to offset, and it probably isn't material for Shell with their large operations. In terms of the timing, we've also had the Scottish SNP sort of deserting the uh, oil and gas industry. They've not been terribly supportive of the future of oil and gas in Scotland, which uh, seems to be nonsensical to me. And uh, we've just had the free ports have been assigned into the fourth and to Cromarty, but uh, neither Aberdeen nor uh, Peterhead, they didn't qualify. The 33rd licensing round, uh, well, that actually closed on the 12th of January 2023. So uh, it wasn't really uh, time to benefit from the knowledge of the success at Pensacola, but uh, it could well be that acreage has been applied for in and around the region in anticipation of the result. All in all, it looks like uh, Mr. Murphy's been hard at work, given the timing of all that's going on here. Have a quick look at uh, the Deltic share price. Uh, you can see this is over a five-day period. And uh, the share price on the announcement of there being gas in the well has, has jumped by about 50%. So uh, we'll see. Well, what's going to happen next? Who knows? So going into a period of testing, and, and one of the characteristics of the Zextein carbon, it's, uh, you know, throughout this region is sometimes or, or often, Commonly, there is um, you know high initial flow rates, and also another common feature is there can be a very rapid decline, so pressure depletion, and together these are very indicative of, of there being a limited connected uh, gas in place. So you know whether we can get a, a meaningful uh, test result from from a vertical well, it remains to be seen. This can of course be mitigated by uh, well, during the development actually drilling long horizontal wells and and actually. Uh, using multifrax now this is used a lot offshore um, a lot of reaction to it uh, onshore saying it's unsafe but it goes on on a regular basis uh, in the north sea uh, and has done for decades so watch this space we'll see what comes out in uh, february 2023 and um, we may well follow up with a uh, with another video all of this information is in our various troves, the Trove Southern North Sea. It's an extensive database with over 15,000 data entries, and we've got over 286 fields and discoveries. A lot more prospects and leads in another database. And this is an example. This is the uh, Le Mans tab, and you can see all the information you get in here, cross-sections, maps, write-ups of the field, even the Woodmac um, report that you can get for the region is advertised in here so any and every piece of information that that you might want to find lines logs infrastructure layouts so lots of information this is just one example if you're interested get in touch but for now um, please uh, give us a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you do ring that bell uh, you'll be notified when we come out with a new video so that's pensacola we'll look forward to hearing the test results and we wish uh, Shell and Deltic Energy here, every success.